I'm Dr. Marina Yudina. But this is not about medicine. That's not about health and wellness. I'm not going to give you any medical advices. I'm here to share with you what the new technology can do. Little bit about myself. Yet my title is doc doctor. I have a doctoral level degree in medicine. Um, I finished medical school in Odessa in Ukraine. It's Odessa Medical University. I've been working in the different capacities and in the different hospitals in Ukraine, in Odessa. Became uh, very successful with my career, but I always want to look over the horizon. I want to get more from the life. I've always been interested in the new technologies, uh, what's new in this world. I want to explore. I am a very creative person, and uh, I had a chance and opportunity to move and work in the United States. And you know what I tell you? Sometimes to be successful and get what you want from life, you have to make a quite risky decisions. And uh, listen to your intuition, listen to your heart. And that's what I've done. So I moved to the United States and listen to that. From Mediterranean climate in Odessa, Black Sea, beautiful European city, I moved to Alaska, not just Alaska. Alaska it's had a lot of different places, it's a very beautiful state, but I moved to Barrow, Alaska. Barrow, Alaska, it's on the top of the earth. You can Google it. It's a minus 45, 50 below zero. It's a almost 100 days of darkness, it's no sun. Uh, very isolated place, but I felt that it's something over there that can give me that boost of energy and uh, new friendship, new connections, meeting new people. I took my chance. Even my friends, my colleagues, they told me, my family member, they told me, Marina, oh my God, are you crazy? Are you really going to Alaska? And I said, yes, I am going and that's what I'm doing. And it was the right decision. When I work in Alaska, I work in a different uh, uh, hospital settings in Alaska. Uh, move from Barrow to Sitka, it was more beautiful, less cold, but still isolated. And I always want to learn more technology. I've been interested in the neuroscience, neurobiology. And my dream, my mom always tells me, Marina, dream big. Look over the horizon. Don't stop. Go and get what you want. And the, my dream was to move to California. So I spent almost eight years in Alaska. And it was some situation that I get to the point that my life, okay, stable, I make good money, I have friends, I have a community, but it's limited. I want more, I need more, I think bigger. So one night I woke out from my apartment, I couldn't sleep and I walk outside and it was a beautiful sky and I look up and see the stars and then boom, something happened. My heart start speeding up. My guts, my intuition, my, my brain tells me, Marina, that's it, that's it, you need to move forward, that's enough. A couple days later, I give a letter of resignation with the, I'm very grateful for the people and place who support me. And uh, I moved to California. And um, I moved with the three suitcases and I found the apartment uh, and I shared the apartment with another three ladies. And um, I found it in the Craigslist. I didn't have any friends, family members, no one. I was all by myself but to get my way to the California, because I want to be in California. California, that's where the UCLA, that's where the neuroscience, that's where the Silicon Valley, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, movie, uh, people, energy. I want to learn more. I want to be surrounded by the people who will give me that energy boost and move forward. And um, my dream always been to have my own practice, so, to make the story short, I opened my own practice 
I'm a founder and director of the Pacific Neuro Center. And uh, I uh, expanded now. I have my place in Florida and I have my place, another office in um, Eastern Europe. So the dreams came true, but it's not enough for me, yeah? So learning new technology and I'm the neuroscientist now working with the neuromodulation, rewiring the brain, creating, designing different protocols for the very successful people who want to be more successful or get to the different point of their lives. So I start using the virtual reality sets for the, my work as well. But always want to share my stories with the people who I met in the conferences, in the coffee shops, in uh, even my clients. I want to share that experience with the people, with the more people that might be, that experience will help somebody to move forward in the, li in, in, in the life. Using the VR technology, it's give you a sense of like meeting person, meeting person in person, you know, then <laughs> that's why it's called virtual reality, it's reality. It's like meeting peer-to-peer -peer conversation. It's um, sharing the feelings. And the feelings you have when you're watching, when you put the headset and you get to the point of the VR video and watch the video, it's you, the feeling you have, you, like you are in reality re, uh, with me in the room, sharing your thoughts and your, uh, your feelings. You can even tap me on the shoulder. You have a feeling that you can give me like a cup of coffee or an apple. So my idea to invite guests to the different locations and uh, have a conversation with them but not just a regular interview. It's a lot of different interviews on YouTube, on Instagram or Facebook, TV, just a regular YouTube. You just click and sit and watch. I want to share the feelings about be present in the room with me and with my guests. And my guests, it could be my clients, could be my people who I met in a coffee shop, like I said, or in different meetings, different network groups, or it could be you, if you reach out to me and we might do interview with you. So you have some interesting story that you can share with the people. And that's what I want to share with you. The new technology can help to move forward. And even, you know, um, preparation for the, uh, for the watching the video. So you have to have a special mindset already to, to sit down, to put a VR set on your head and who get to the point meeting me and meeting my guests. And that's what it is. And you know, I want to tell you, I'm not expecting anything from anyone. I just want to share that experience with you. And that's all. So welcome and jump in. And next time I will see you with my guests. Bye bye.